Hello everyone, Chris Scarborough, NTX Wealth Management. Hope this video finds you and your family happy and healthy. Uh, today I want to talk about pension interest rates. Uh, this is timely because of the pension plans that we work most with. It's this time of year when next year's interest rates are announced, which allows us to go in and run different scenarios to determine if next year's interest rate is going to have an effect on their lump sum pension. This is most important for folks who are looking to retire either by year end this year or year end next year. The lump sum option is supposed to represent the monthly annuity paid out to the participant over their life expectancy based on the mortality table and applying an underlying interest rate. So that's the interest rate we're talking about. Different plans use different interest rates. With the plans that we work with the most, the two most common interest rates are the PPA rate and the PBGC rate. The PPA rate is from the Pension Protection Act of 2006 and effectively replaced the GAT rate. It's a segmented rate in that the first rate applies to the first five years of payments the second rate applies to the next 15 years of payments, and the third rate applies to the payments from year 20 on. It's available on the IRS website. It's released monthly. If you go to their website and search minimum present value segment rates, you can view the rates online. The second rate is the PBGC, which is the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation, which is a federal agency that effectively serves as an insurance company for private pensions. They provide the rate and it's released monthly. So here I'm on the PBGC website at pbgc.gov. So remember, it's an inverse relationship. So as interest rates go up, lump sum pension valuations go down and vice versa. In one of the pension plans that we work with, they look at the September rate and lock it in for all retirements in the next year. So last September, the rate that was released was 0.5. And now I can see the September rate of 2020 has been released at zero. So we would expect since the rate has been reduced from 0.5 to zero, that will increase pensions in 2021. However, because it's age-based, it doesn't affect all participants the same. So for example, in running some pension interest rates this year in one particular plan, the reduced interest rate did not have much of an effect at all for participants over the age of 65. For the clients I've run estimates with that are under the age of 65, it's run at about a 5% increase, which doesn't sound like a ton, but on a $500,000 pension, it's $25,000 more. And the last piece here in regard to the interest rates is being familiar with your plan. Uh, every pension plan is a little bit different. With one pension plan we work with, if the objective is to capture the current year's rate, last day work must be November 1st. With another pension plan that we work with a lot, they will actually allow you, the participant, to retire on 1231 and use a 1-1 commencement date, and they'll apply both year's interest rates and pay out the higher of. So the three takeaways are an understanding that there's an inverse relationship between interest rates and lump sum valuations. As interest rates go down, lump sum valuations go up and vice versa. An understanding that an interest rate change does not affect all participants' pensions the same. And to know the specifics of your company pension plan. If you know of someone who is planning to retire the next few years and wants to work with an advisor who's familiar with these interest rates and their pension plans, please forward this video or send them to our website, ntxwealth.com. Thank you for your time today. Y'all stay safe and we'll be in touch.